In this video, I'm going to show you the returns management in Shopware 6. This feature is available to you as of a RISE plan. To use the returns management, we obviously need an order that is valid. So in this case, I've already created an order. So I'm going to access this order via orders, overview, and then go into the order. To create a return, we now have to move down to the items of the order. And in this, to create a return, you now can select all the products that you want to return. So in this case, I have two products in this order, but I just want to return one of them so I can select the order. And then afterwards, I can click on return items. After clicking return items, now this window pops up where you can now select the return quantity. So in this case, I only have an order quantity of one and I want to return this product, I will then select one. And if you like, you can also add a comment and just enter the comment in here. In this case, I won't be needing a comment, so I will just leave this empty and create the return. We have now returned to the order details overview, and you can already see in the items overview that the status has been set to return requested. The status of this return can also be set via the context menu and then set status. So in this case, you can say either canceled, still open. So in this case, it's already returned requested, returned if it's finished, for example, and otherwise returned partially shipped or shipped partially. So in case the customer has returned multiple products, this can be the case. So returned partially, for example, is when only one of the products has been returned. In this case, we're gonna cancel this as we don't need this yet. And we can also see that at the top of the order details, a new tab has been added for the returns. Moving into the tab returns, we can now see the details of the return. You can also delete the return in case you don't need it anymore. You can also see some general information about it. So who created the return, for example, then you, we have the general information, so you can see the number of products, the total price. And if necessary, you can also add a comment here. So if you didn't do this beforehand, you can now still add a comment. And you can set the return status. Also, there are the positions tab. So here you can see all the products that are in this return. And you can search them or remove single products, for example. And you can also open the status history. So every time the status is changed, you will be able to see this right here. When, with the date, who did the change, and then the status that has been set. So right now the return status is open, but we want to start the return, so we'll change this to in progress. Now this pop-up comes up with the change status, where we can now update the status. Now that the return has been processed, you can change the return status from in progress to either cancelled or done. So for example, if it's cancelled, you will cancel it. Or if the process has been done, you can change it to done when then you will have to change the status update again. And now we can move back to the general tab. As we just set the return status to done in the returns tab, we can now do the same with the actual item. So we can go to set status and change the status to returned. In this case, it's currently important to know that there's no automatic stock change. So you will have to change the stock by hand for the individual product yourself. But this can be done quite easily by just pressing on the product to show this product.